What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mr. Reebok Monday. Yes, we're gonna start the week as we usually do and we're gonna crack open a mystery box. Oh, I hope everybody's been good. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Uh, as you can see, I've got a little bit of a, an assortment of cars in here. A few new cars at the back there, plus this really strange item that we see. Yeah, uh, very strange, but uh, for me, incredibly cool. Uh, I don't know how many of them I'll buy, but I definitely wanted to pick up at least one of them. All right, let's see if we can get this box to stop sliding around. Uh, we'll start off with some mainline cars. And we'll start off with the Hummer, I guess. This is the new, kind of like a burnt orange metallic version of the GMC Hummer EV. Yes, this is an electric vehicle from the Green Speed series, as you see. And on the front there, you can see Hummer is actually written in the front light bar. That is pretty cool. I do quite like the look of that. It's got those big, bull bar up front as well. well not, a, not really a bull bar but more of a bash bar area and some tow hooks and such there. So it's got the chrome beadlock off-road wheels. <laughs> it also has a uh, off uh, convertible version to the car. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, there you go. Never seen one of these in real life. I will have to just have a Google of one to see what it looks like. But this looks really, really cool. On the back there you can see all those really nice details once again with the brake lights, the Hummer badge and GMC down the bottom there. Yeah, what do you reckon? I reckon that looks pretty cool. Next up, what have we got? Oh yes, the 1962 Corvette Gasser from the Hot Wheels Drag Strip Series. This is the Mad Mouse and the card art right there. Beautiful looking colour. Kind of like a copper color metallic there you go and you see that has the chrome engine sticking out of the bonnet there and those cool racing stripes as well and they do actually have a bit of a gold pinstripe to the outside of that little black edge there chrome grill and bumper on the front i reckon that looks really really cool has that gasser stance on the front there with that raised front end. It's got the side exit exhaust coming down behind the wheel. That is so cool. Super skinny wheels in the front with the gray five spoke and the big fat wheels in the back with the same wheel. Mad mouse. And a uh, whole bunch of racing sponsors, Hot Wheels. Uh, is that Edelbrock, Goodyear, BG there. I think that's for blown Gasser, not entirely sure. If anybody knows the drag racing term for those initials there, please put it in the comments. Uh, black stripe down the panel there. And Schmitz Chevrolet, I think. I can't quite read that. Schmitz Chevrolet and a number 62. Chrome interior. And once again, we have those chrome bumpers on the back. And there is the license plate area. Plus the little dimples there for where the brake lights would be. Really a nice casting. I think that is, this is actually really well done. And the same livery on this side here. Yeah, what do you guys reckon? Now that it's out of the packet, it's really, really nice. And there is the base there. And you see the two exhausts coming down there. That is so cool. Yeah, nice. Do quite like the look of that. Um, I do actually hope that this one comes in, in a uh, premium series. That'd be nice to get it with the full details. Next up we have the 1971 Dodge Charger from the Hot Wheels Art Car Series and you see on the side here it's got the number 71 and Dodge Charger on the side. It has different coloured steely wheels, that's pretty cool. Blue in the front, yellow in the back. A little bit of extra yellow striping just there. Art Cars on the bonnet, there's also a uh, Dodge badge on the bonnet there too. Hot Wheels and this is the letter Y. Chrome grill. Uh, it's got a little black front splitter there. Kind of hard to see, but you can kind of see it there. And the chrome rear bumper and light bezel area. That is so cool. Yeah, not too bad at all. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what it actually says on the other side of that. Might have to get another one just to see. 
Oh yes, now we're talking. This one here, I was actually waiting for this one because we had the uh, Corvette C8R from the then and now series and now we have the Corvette C6R. Very, very cool. It's in the same color and tampo scheme. Very, very nice. Oh, the the uh, badges on the front there look pretty cool. It's got a little bit of silver paint around the headlight area. Not, not the most detailed headlights, but it does have headlights somewhat painted on there. Yeah, the Corvette badge looks nice. The racing stripes look really, really cool. White with the red pinstriping. Number six. And the stripes go over the roof. And this has got a big metal wang on the back there. And the back is uh, not very clear, but you can see where the lights would be and the license plate area gray double star five spoke wheels as well wow and there's the card art for that that's really really cool i should have grabbed out the other one just to do the comparison of it but i completely forgot next up what have we got next ah yes the new red version of the audi rs e-tron gt uh, it's got the same wheels as the last car in that gray double star on the front, we get a license plate. We get the whole blacked out front section there. And uh, headlights look pretty nice as well. Badging, yep, yeah, that looks pretty cool. I don't understand why the front is completely blacked out for, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> nice red color. I do like the look of the color. And on the back there, we have some very nice details as well. Big light bar along the back there for the brake light. Nice clean badging and everything like that. Yeah, very cool. The gray version of that, the first edition version uh, was in gray. And uh, the gray one was really, really nice. I actually really, really liked the gray one. So I think I'm gonna go pick up a few more of the gray version as uh, before they all run out, I guess. <laughs> Just cause I've only got one of them. I only bought one of the gray one. Uh, I didn't buy a second one to even open. So I gotta make sure that I go back and pick up a gray one before they are all out of stock. Next one here is a very, very cool one from the Hot Wheels Dream Garage series. Here's that bone shaker. That is super cool. Not entirely sure what the uh, picture is on the side there. Can't quite make out what that is. To me, it just looks like a skull with wings. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that that's all that it is. I think it's just a skull with some wings flying around. So <laughs> pretty funny. On the front, we get that nice chrome skull there for the front engine area and the headlights. I like how that's got the hands holding onto the headlights there. That's such a cool touch. Has the bonnet sticking out of the, <laughs> the engine sticking out of the bonnet, sorry. And number 68, and we get some striping there as well. Kind of like a lightning bolt stripe. On the side there, there we go, you can see they are black and purple. Number 68. Uh, steely wheels, very, very nice with that grey trim. And the side exit exhausts are always cool. This is an open top version of the Bone Shaker. I do not know if there would be a version with the closed roof of this particular car. I don't know if they do that. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Next up, we're going to start opening a couple. Oh, uh, well, well, all right, we'll just look at this one first because this is also from the Then and Now series. Uh, first off we, for this, we had the, uh, the SRT8 Dodge Viper, the original Dodge Viper. And now we have the Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR, also in the Hot Wheels race team livery. Big Viper fan, I reckon they're super cool looking cars. Yeah, crazy, looking, crazy looking headlights on there. It's got the white base to give it the white splitter and this white stripe up the side there. Hot Wheels Racing Dodge, uh, blacked out five spokes with the red trim, blue window, uh, big huge wang on the back of that. And it's got the white diffuser as well. Uh, no rear brake lights, unfortunately, but still really, really cool. Pop that up the end there with the other Hot Wheels, uh, the other blue car. <laughs> All right, now, um, when I was at shops the other day, I found a second one of these. Um, I found it on the long card, uh, but I thought we'd open up the short card version because this one here is actually a little bit bent up. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, from the Exotic series, 
There's the card art, super cool looking collar. There we go, yes. This one goes straight to the base. Aston Martin Vantage GTE 2021 copyright. So this is a new casting, I think. I think I was told that this was a new casting. So um, yeah, pretty awesome. Nice front end, it's got this big kind of like a racing style front splitter. Headlights on the front there. It's got a badge on the front there as well, the Aston Martin badge just there. Uh, seems to have some hood pins, some vents with some red trim around the cutouts. That's pretty cool, black racing stripe. It's kind of like a, a bright, bright green color. The uh, camera's not doing it justice. It kind of looks like a Kind of looks like a tennis ball yellow green style color, that fluorescent yellowy green kind of color. That's, that's the blacked out 10 spoke wheels. Seems to have a side exit exhaust just there. Uh, some more vents there, some black stripes. A huge side skirt on the side of that. You see the side skirt there is enormous. Big giant metal wang on the back there. No brake light details unfortunately. I would have preferred this to come out with the brake light details, that would have been awesome. It does get a huge racing diffuser out the back. But still, yeah, it would have been nice to have a little bit of detail on the back of this. Other than that, I reckon that looks pretty awesome. And another awesome car is the brand new blue version of the Automobile Pininfarina Batista. Also from the Exotic series. And there's the card art there as well. This one is absolutely beautiful. Love the look of this car. On the front you can see the really nice headlights. You get this also this white stripe there. I don't know if it's a stripe or a light bar or whatever. Um, once again I'll have to actually Google it to see what it looks like. Big huge splitter on the front there. And big air vent there. <laughs> Crazy looking tornado style wheels in chrome. Uh, left hand drive. It's got that carbon fiber style roof there with that kind of mesh that they put onto the casting. That looks pretty awesome actually. Yeah, a little bit of a white uh, side skirt there in black. And around the back there, wow. Nice clean lines for the brake lights. And something written on the license plate. I can't make out what that is. Maybe that's just a scratch on the, the paintwork. Actually, no, it looks like an autograph, just a, a not very well placed tampo. So I think that could be the autograph of the designer of the vehicle, the uh, Pin and Farina autograph. Yeah, really nice looking car, I have to say. Nice lines, futuristic, very cool, very cool. <laughs> All right, now let's get into some other stuff. Actually, do you want to look at this one first? Let's just look at this one first. This is the uh, new Hot Wheels Skate range and it came with the uh, this car here. I'm not entirely sure what this one is. It's not the Fig Rig, is it? Um, can't quite... I can't quite make out what the name of this vehicle is. Not entirely sure. Possibly doesn't even have a name because it doesn't actually show it on the back here. Uh, this is the back of it. You get a car and a skateboard plus a pair of shoes, which is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Get the bone shaker and they come with these Tony Hawk skateboards, which is incredibly cool. So I'm probably going to buy more of them, uh, but mainly the ones which actually have the Tony Hawk skateboards on them. And if that's the only one of the, just the plain Hot Wheels ones, I'll just buy that anyway, because that looks really, really cool. Look at that. Yeah, and you guys know me, you know I love my skateboarding, uh, Tony Hawk, the video game was also a huge part of my growing up, so definitely going to be buying more of these. Here is the skateboard, it's a very cheaply made tech deck, uh, but yeah, pretty nice. This is actually a kind of like a chromium blue kind of colour, very like chrome blue, Hot Wheels Skate. And you have the Tony Hawk with the upside down bat. Just incredibly cool. You get your Hot Wheels shoes. 
And the skateboard, uh, the car as well, with the same livery on it, with the bat, Tony Hawk, and all of that. So I am 100% going to be buying more of these. So um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to find at least the bone shaker. That'll be a really cool one to get, just because it's a bone shaker. Um, yeah, <laughs> to be honest, I'll be happy with any of them. I reckon these are really cool. Uh, they also sell just the skateboards as well, but these ones here came with the car, so guaranteed to pick up the one, ones with the cars. Love that. Next up, as you can see, yes, I'm grabbing out the whole pile of cars, because this is one set and it is the last item in the box for today. Let's pop that box out of the way. Yes, we have the new Exotic Envy set. I'm not entirely sure when this one actually came out because I know there was a couple of Exotic Envy's uh, Hot Wheels Premium series which I missed uh, but I found this set and this is really really awesome we got this really cool Lamborghini Ascenza SCV12 uh, I assume that's a supercharged V12 nice colour just absolutely beautiful very hard to get a good look at this vehicle uh, but don't worry, when I found it, I bought two sets. So yes, we are actually going to open this one up in a review video. So do not worry too much if you can't see all of the details right now. Uh, you'll get one in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, pretty awesome. Also in the set is a Bugatti, yes. Really nice card art too, I will have to admit. Uh, do these line up by chance? No, uh, not really thought possibly they might have lined up. Uh, they are 94 Bugatti EV 110, really cool. Nice blue, get the gray aero disc wheels, the lens headlights, all the details on the front, badge on the side, and all the details on the back as well. Uh, yeah, pretty nice looking vehicle. Next in the set is the Koenigsegg Azera R, beautiful in red. And there's the card art for that as well. Once again, absolutely awesome looking card art. And such a cool looking car. So awesome. Absolutely awesome looking car. I've got one of these, I think it's the same model version, uh, in white, which came out not too long ago in the Boulevard series. Uh, the white one was really, really nice, but this red one, as a lot of you might have realized, having all the red backgrounds and stuff like that, red is my favorite color. And this is awesome. I uh, can't wait to open this one here up. To be honest, I'd like to collect a few more of these, just, just to be able to have a few of them. Definitely, absolutely an awesome looking car. And uh, next in the set, we have the 1969 Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale. Yellow with the white front end. Uh, number 33 on the front, get the lensed headlights. Nice clean window for the bubble top style windows. Wow, that is really, really cool. White wheels, racing sponsorship and such along the side there. Alfa Romeo in that white stripe. The lucky four leaf clover. And yeah, really nice brake lights number 33 also. That is really, really cool. And there's a card art for that as well. And the last one in the set is the McLaren Speedtail. Wow, that is so nice. There's a the card art for that first. We'll have a quick look. Very, very cool. Such a sleek looking vehicle. Yes. <laughs> nice diamond blue kind of color. As the uh, headlight details painted on there, the badging, gray 10 spoke real rider wheels has that red stripe on the top and a very dark window it's kind of hard to see inside the window so i can't see the interior and around the back we have the rear brake lights and the speed tail on the back there too wow that is so cool definitely happy to have a premium version of the mclaren speed tail such a cool looking car uh, there's the back in case you wanted to see that and I'll also uh, show the barcode there in case you want to try and scan that to hopefully you can find this because yeah 
It was a few days ago that I found this set. I found just the one box that had been put out onto the shelf. So I bought it. Um, yeah. <laughs> and now there's none left. So, well, there you go. Uh, the last couple of items I have is just a couple of five packs. First one I'm going to show though is that brand new 2023 Moto Show 5 pack. Yes. This is definitely going to be the next video that we do in the next couple of days. Absolutely so happy to find this. Get the Lamborghini and you get the 4GT race there as well. Uh, have another quick look at the back. You can see the Lamborghini pace car. Wow, that's awesome. And uh, where is it? Once again, I'll show you the barcode. Maybe you can give that a scan and try and find this in your area as well. But yeah, absolutely awesome. So next couple of days, I'm going to try and get this out at least by Wednesday or Thursday. So stay tuned. Hopefully I'll be able to get that out very shortly for you. And um, also have a few Matchbox 5 packs. <laughs> so yes, also for future videos. Um, also I have this one here off to the side here, which was going to be the next video that I was going to do on the channel until I found the Motor Show 5 pack. Um, but instead I found uh, the Road Crew two there we go uh, the city drivers this one's not a bad looking pack and the uh, matchbox mountain two there we go so there's some of the uh, matchbox five packs that I found they're all falling all over the place so yeah uh, but I did also find other matchbox five packs so I'm gonna let you guys choose which one you want to see <laughs> because I don't really know too much about these, but I think that they're relatively new. So, City Adventure 3, Autobahn Express, <laughs> Autobahn Express 3, and the Matchbox Service 5 packs. So I'll have a quick look. This one's pretty awesome. Get a pretty cool looking old Chev there. Yep, definitely awesome. Get the Land Rover as well. Autobahn Express has a Unimog, has the, uh, what is that? I'm not entirely sure what that is. An Opal, I think it is. Oh yeah, the Opal Speedster. Uh, Volkswagen, uh, BMW police car, which has been out in several single packs and such before. Like those theme sets and a Porsche. So yeah, not a bad looking pack, that one. And then the Matchbox service one with the news van. Get the El Segundo police truck. And get another police truck. Get the fire ambulance and another police car so we get what is that what have we got Ford animal control truck international workstar ambulance 2016 Ford interceptor duty uh, utility uh, Ford transit news van and a Ram 1500 so yeah I'll let you guys choose which one we get so hopefully this will do, week we'll do the motor show one but after that out of all these five packs I'll let you I'll let you guys choose which one we do after that, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the episode. I don't really have too much else to show. Um, actually, to be honest, that was kind of all I had to show. I was, only, I was actually going to keep these three five packs off to the side until next week, but well, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> I had to show you. Uh, all right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic week. And until next time, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all then. Bye, guys.